Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 81 and we are going to talk about what makes a leader idea in practice. Last time we talked about idea in brief in module number 80, but now we are going to see what are its practical implications. When we talk about practical implications, there are certain aspects a leader should be visualizing and those aspects are self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy and social skills. So, let us talk about these things in a bit detail. When we talk about self-awareness, the definition goes the ability to recognize and understand your moods, emotions and drives. These are the three important things we have to talk about in self-awareness as well as their effect on others. Ke dousron par uske asarat kya muratab honge, ye tabhi hum jaan paayenge jab hume apne baare mein awareness ho that what are our moods, emotions and drives. Iske jo hallmarks hum pick kar sakte hain, they can be self-confidence, they can be realistic self-assessment and it can be self-deprecating sense of humor. In teen aspects se hum better self-awareness ki taraf develop kar sakte hain and will be better able, able to evaluate others as well. The second factor is self-regulation. When we talk about self-regulation, its definition is the ability to control or redirect disruptive impulses and moods, the propensity to suspend judgment, to think before acting. These are the important things related to the self-regulation and the hallmarks about these are number one, trust, worthiness and integrity. Iske baghair, aap self-regulate nahi kar paoge. You have to have comfort with ambiguity. Kyunke jab aap uncertainty avoidance ko deal kar sakoge, aap ambiguity ko deal kar sakoge, that is the time when you are able to self-regulate and you should also be open as to change. When we talk about motivation, to uski definition humare paas aati hai ka passion to work for reasons that go beyond money or status. Another definition is a propensity to pursue goals with energy and Resilience. Now, these two important things we have: energy and resilience, or persistence, which is without motivation incomplete. Hai. And when we talk about its hallmarks, that would include number one, strong drive to achieve, optimism even in the face of failure, and obviously organizational commitment. Likewise, a very important ingredient in emotional intelligence, which makes actually a leader, is the factor of empathy. And the definition of empathy is the ability to understand the emotional makeup of other people. And it can also be defined as skill in treating people according to their emotional reactions. And the hallmarks for these emotional reactions are, number one, expertise in building and retaining talent. Number two, cultural sensitivity. And number three, service to clients and customers. And remember, out of these three, the cultural sensitivity is actually a very sensitive phenomena. Because unless and until you are not sensitive to the cultural differences, you would not be able to show your empathy to the people. Likewise, the last but not the least emotional intelligence ingredient is social skill. And when we talk about its definition, it goes as if proficiency in managing relationships and building networks. Or it can also be defined as an ability to find a common ground and build rapport. And the hallmarks of this particular uh, trait are number one, effectiveness in leading change, it can be persuasiveness and it can also be expertise in building and leading teams. These are all the hallmarks which we need to acquire to maintain our emotional intelligence with the followers. If I would like to conclude the whole situation, remember that these are the five ingredients to make the recipe of effective leader. The leader must be self-aware, the leader must be self-regulated, the leader must be having some level of empathy, the leader must have the higher levels of motivation and the leader must be there with the social skill. And when you empathize with the other people, with the followers, that would be the time when your effectiveness, trust, credibility would be of higher context. So remember that we have to have all of these five factors at the same time. Thank you.